You are ready to buy a house and you have $20,000 for a down payment and closing costs. Closing costs are estimated to be 4% of the loan value. You have an annual salary of $36,000 and the bank is willing to allow your monthly mortgage payment to be equal to 20% of your monthly income. The interest rate on the loan is 6% per year with monthly compounding of 0.5% per month. So here it's just the 6% divided by 12, which equals to 0.5% per month for a 30 year fixed rate loan. How much money will the bank loan you and how much can you offer for the house? So the first question is, how much money can the bank loan you? So the first thing that we need to determine is the bank loan. How much money the bank will loan you will depend on how much you make and what your monthly uh, what, what your monthly uh, income is. So here we know that you make thirty six thousand dollars, and if you take that and you divide it by twelve, it'll give the monthly uh, the monthly income. Okay, and then from there we can determine how much you can pay each month towards your mortgage. The bank has a policy that allows you or gives you um, a loan that is or allows the mortgage payment to be equal to 20% of your monthly income. And actually that is a very good uh, percentage. You should not pay more than that. Um, so 28 to 30% is really the maximum you should pay for either rent or for your mortgage anything be beyond that so a, um, a payment that is beyond let's say 30% of your monthly income actually can uh, get you into financial distress and financial problems so the rec recommended uh, percentage of your monthly income that should go to rent or a mortgage is about 28 to 30% so in this case this bank is allowing you um, a 28 percentage of your monthly income to go towards your your mortgage so here we need to determine the maximum monthly mortgage payment and then from there we can try to determine the loan the, the loan amount that the bank can give you so the first thing is to determine the monthly income And the monthly income is simply your um, your 36,000 divided by divided by 12. So 36,000 divided by 12, which gives you an income of $3,000 per month. Now to determine the, uh, the maximum monthly mortgage payment, so the maximum monthly mortgage payment is simply um, you take that 3,000 and you multiply by 28% or um, 0 0.28 which will give you $840. So $840 is the maximum amount that you need to pay for, um, for, a, uh, for a mortgage based on the income that you're making. The loan amount uh, here is a present value. When you buy a house, the bank gives a lump sum to pay the seller of the house on your behalf. You then pay the bank the loan amount with interest each month. So the loan amount uh, payment happens earlier in the timeline, and so it is a present value. So if you were to, if we were to kind of depict what is happening, uh, at time zero, the bank gives a loan to you okay and then you start paying the eight hundred forty dollars each month okay and here I'm gonna uh, put them as negative numbers because it's a cash outflow it's not a negative number it just means that it's a cash outflow you're you're spending eight hundred and forty dollars the loan amount that you're getting happens earlier on the timeline and so uh, this is a present value Okay, so we're looking for a, the present value of an ordinary annuity. We do know that the present value equals to C. So we have the, the, the formula present value equals to C times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R to the power T divided 
by R. So this is the formula that we have been using. And here we just need to have the right inputs. See, that's the uh, cash flow that is uh, uh, occurring every period, in this case, every month. So C will be 840. So C is 840 per month. Because this is a monthly number, everything, the R and the T, should be monthly uh, numbers or should have monthly frequencies. So the R here in this case, it's um, uh, we are told it's uh, zero. So so the loan is six percent per year, and uh, per month is zero point five percent. So the the interest rate is zero point five percent per month, but we input it as a decimal into the uh, the the formula, so it would be zero point zero zero five. The T is uh, the um, the amount of time we're going to be paying uh, this uh, this eight hundred and forty dollars, and uh, we know that the bank is going to give you a thirty year mortgage, so a thirty year fixed rate loan, and um, it's thirty years, but you're paying every month, so it'd be thirty times twelve, which gives you three hundred and sixty months. So. Uh, be careful to keep to have all um, all of these numbers having uh, the same frequency. C is monthly. Everything else has to be monthly. And here we can just input these variables into our uh, our formula. So PV equals to 840 times one minus one over one plus zero point zero zero five to the power of 360 divided by zero point Zero zero five. Put these into our formula, into our calculator. So it would be one plus zero point zero zero five to the power of three hundred and sixty, and then we inverse that minus plus one divided by zero point zero zero five times eight hundred and forty dollars. So this will give a loan amount of 140,105. So the loan that the bank will give you is 140,105 dollars based on your income. Now the question is how much can you offer for the house and here the bank can give you one hundred and forty thousand uh, dollars one hundred and five uh, you can but you also have twenty thousand dollars in cash so remember the problem says that you have twenty thousand uh, dollars in cash for a down payment and closing costs and so uh, here uh, you have twenty thousand dollars in cash this twenty thousand dollars is going to be used for both the closing costs and the down payment and uh, the closing costs are going Going to uh, you know to be paid in cash, and uh, they are estimated to be four percent of the loan amount. So whatever is left over is going to be money that goes into uh, the down payment, and uh, the as a result of that, uh, it will be you know based on the numbers that you get, it will determine how much you can offer for for a house. So. So here we need to determine how much to offer for a house. And the first thing that we need to do is determine our closing costs. So our closing costs are 4% of the loan amount. So whatever it, the loan amount is, we multiply by 0 0.04. So the loan amount is 140,105, that's what we found, times 0 0.04, which will give $5,000. Six hundred and four dollars. So we um, so from our uh, cash uh, of twenty thousand uh, dollars, five thousand six hundred and four is going to go to the closing cost, which leaves us with a down payment. Down payment of basically that twenty thousand dollars minus the closing cost of five thousand six hundred and four, which means that you can offer fourteen thousand three hundred ninety six dollars as a down payment. 
the total price you can offer for the house the total price you offer for the house is gonna basically be the loan amount okay so the 140,105 plus the down payment of 14,396 which will give you 154,501 so the maximum you can pay for a house is 154501 So when you're shopping for houses, um, this is the kind of price tag that you need to be, uh, to be looking at uh, among the houses that you are, that, that you are considering.